Do you see this? Do you see this shit? Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to No Man's Sky. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the updates that have come to the game and just explore Damatori Umen. This is the planet that we are on, Damatori Umen. Do you remember that planet? I believe that we talked about it all the way back when I played the game a long time ago. But we can get over here and we can see that the ship has a class and he, it is a class C shuttle and it does not have any damage shield or hyperdrive bonuses because this is a ship that existed before the update came so only the ships that you encounter after the update will have special bonuses within the class and most of the shuttle uh, the, the shuttle ships will not have any damage boost but will have shield and hyperdrive bonuses and over here you can see the exact amount of uh, stuff that each ship has so you can also see the bonuses based on the class bonus and the same thing uh, is for the multi-tool now the multi-tools that existed before the update came will not have any bonuses but they will have same stats as the other stuff now you can have rifles you can have pistols and something else as well i'm not really sure what rifles pistols and something else for the starships you can have the shuttle you can have the fighter and i think that you can have something else as well but either way you can also have the a b c and the d and maybe f classes i don't know i know that there is a b and c and i assume that a is weakest or strongest May, my, i don't know <laughs> i can't tell but also i'm playing on my normal normal save you could have uh, noticed that from my mention of damatori umen this is uh, my game where i played about 20 hours i believe and let us go down here now damatori umen is not a friendly planet it's a fucking shit planet it's filled with uh, very very toxic life and also this here exocraft mining laser required so we can't mine detritum because we need to build a planetary uh, base and we need to build the exocrafts because uh, you just <laughs> you cannot mine without the special weapons so let us go and save i really don't like this planet it's, it's barren it has life it has life definitely as you can hear but it's just it looks dangerous it, it makes me feel unsafe these animals i'm fairly certain they are dangerous they could kill me all right let's go into one of these oh man look at the shadow oh looks so cool newly discovered thank you for the money i appreciate it what do we have here what is this read encyclopedia aha gek word for units this is also new although this might have come in the previous update because i didn't really play the game a lot since the first update since the foundation update so i'm not really sure what came now and what was uh, what was a part of the game uh, for a very long time please be quiet you and thermal protection stupid bullshit all the time extract nanites Aha, uh -huh. should probably talk about that as well. There are these nanites and the nanite clusters that you can collect. See up here, nanite clusters, 54. You collect nanite clusters and then you sell them for blueprints. I also don't know if this came now or in the previous update. But it is very cool because it promotes even further exploration than before. That's always nice, you know, when the game gives you a purpose, when it, when it gives you a reason to explore stuff all the time. Because, as I talked about this before, people people simply lack purpose. Get some emeril, I can't get emeril. I do like the design. See how it's etched into the world instead of being just a, a big block. That is very cool. But yeah, like I was saying before, People need purpose and meaning, and if uh, a lot of people just simply don't want to play games, if, they, if the game doesn't give you a purpose and meaning, and this game, you gotta find the purpose and meaning yourself. When you have the factions, 
you have the relations with the factions, but pretty much everything you do, it's all on you. Oh, there's a cave. Shall we explore a cave? Maybe we can find something interesting. Land, please. Okay, look at these, these rotating balls of hell. Jesus Christ, look at this. Oh my lord. What the hell is this? Oh, some sort of giant balls. Like, literally, balls from a giant. It's carbon. You'd think that it would have something else as well. So this cannot be destroyed, yeah. I would need to find a, a place where I can make a planetary base. Oh, shit. Storm is incoming. Okay, let's go down here. Let us go down here. Maybe the cave is gonna have something interesting. Levels stabilizing. Thank you very much. Oh. What do we have here? No, free slots. Before, when you didn't have free slots, the stuff that you destroyed would just get lost forever. I guess that's still the case, because it would be nice if once uh, the stuff gets destroyed and it doesn't fit into your inventory, that you actually, uh, you know, can pick it up later from the ground. I guess that is not the case. I missed this. You know, maybe I can get the flashlight going as well. Wait, where is my flashlight? I'm supposed to have a flashlight. Excuse me, who took... Motherfuckers took my flashlight, guys. I need flashlights. Oh wait, down here it's minus 18 degrees. So down here it's actually super cold compared to the to the surface. That's super, super warm. It gives a nice feel, you know? Opposite things. I don't know, it kind of makes sense. Because we all know that in uh, deserts, during the day they are hot as fuck. But during the night they are cold as fuck. So let's get this beautiful exotic antrium antrium give me more antrium i don't know what is it used for and what can i use it for but i want it because it's exotic i like exotic things in exotic places don't you feel the same my friend do you feel sp wait what is going on up here wait what why is my uh Oh, no, that's... Yeah, my uh, ratio of the game is a little bit fucked up. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all in my mind. All right? Nobody cares. Because uh, after a while, you know, you, when you start making videos at start, you have a feeling like everyone will care about every little detail, about every little tiny thing that you, you know, fuck up or that you don't do properly. But in the end, most of you guys just... You don't give a shit, you just want, just want me to speak and do stuff, so whatever happens, it's, you know, fine by you and fine by everyone else, so, and that is quite liberating in reality, because I can sit down, I can play No Man's Sky, I can just explore a little bit, where the fuck is my, should probably get back up to my uh, ship, I can explore around, and look at this, hazmat gauntlet. I don't know, is this new, or was this before, from the foundation update, but this is very cool. Hazmat Gauntlet. Gotta find that as well. But yeah, like I was saying, it's very cool that I am able to, you know, just sit, make a video, and uh, you guys are gonna enjoy it, either way. Sometimes I put more effort, sometimes I put less effort, but in the end, it's all very, very similar. You guys watch anyway. I mean, those of you that watch everything, of course. If you are... Uh, watching this and you want to make videos just realize that people don't really give a shit about small details <laughs> most people care only about the overall feel of the video you know when you start making people want to feel that you are talking to them you know i'm i'm talking to my camera but i have a feeling like i'm actually talking to a person and if people can feel that then i think that any video can be good Gek Plek. Let's see if this is gonna be something special, something new that I did not uh, see before. The surface of the plaque shimmers and shakes with the screams of the people that lived, lived here a long time ago. 
The words are unfamiliar, yet the sounds of geck anger and outrage I can hear a meaning. Seek help. Help me! Help me more! Give me more geck! Geck reward. Thank you. I appreciate that. Standing is increasing. Beautiful! Also, if you're unfamiliar, now. Will you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't do that. Linguist. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Uh, in the space stations, you now have several of those uh, builders, and you know you have the the experts that you can recruit. So that has changed as well. But that was from the first update. Still, I just have a feeling like some of you may not be even aware of the first update, let alone the, the second one. So you might not know those things. What I would like to do is go where? Uh, I would like to go to the space station. Yes. Let's go to the space station and I would like to try to encounter a different class of ship. And I just wanna... Just wanna show you that, right? A different class of ship, nothing else. Will there be anyone here? That is the question. Probably not. It's all empty like a little baby. Come on, ships. I uh, believe that you will come to me. You will come to me. You will give me a new body. A new man shall, shall be embroiled into me within. Not sure what I was trying to say there. But a ship is coming. Oh. Let's see. It's probably a shuttle as well. I suspect that only shuttles are gonna come into the space station. Because shuttles, you know, co uh, carry a lot of interesting things. Work geck. Ad ladi. Make an offer on the life forms ship. Oh ho. A class B shuttle. So mine is a class C. Wait, can I compare them here? Yes, I can. Oh, see? Very cool. So mine is a class C shuttle. It does not have any uh, upgrades, any uh, bonuses. But this shuttle is class B and it has a couple of... A uh, couple of things. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, the price is decent, but... Uh, the bonuses are not enough, so you can go piss yourself. Someone else has come. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is a big one. Hello, merchant. Probably shuttle as well, because, you know, merchant. I'm a friend. Thank you. Thank you for considering me your friend. I... Holy shit. Holy shit. Do you see this? Do you see this shit? A class A hauler. Damage 9%, shield 43%, hyperdrive 24%. 100 million units. 100 million units? A class A hauler. 47 slots. I, can, I have never seen this in my life. Have you guys seen this in, ever? Holy shit. 100 million. <laughs> Do you know how long it takes to collect 100 million units? 100 million. Are you serious? Merchant. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. I can't believe this. I gotta take a picture. Photo mode. I gotta take a picture of this beast. I don't wanna I, I don't wanna be here anymore. I simply don't want to be here anymore because I feel insulted that 100 million Incredible But I, I'm also surprised because my ship has 30 slots and seeing a ship with 47 slots means that they changed the system completely because uh, a while ago when you used to buy a new ship or get a new ship for example, the ship had 30 slots, and the biggest ship you could encounter is a ship with uh, 
I don't know, 35 slots. You know, you couldn't encounter a ship that's much... What the fuck? Jesus Christ, it scared the shit out of me. Will you stop? Stop doing that. Holy shit. You couldn't encounter a ship that's much bigger than yours. But now, since there are different classes of ships, you may encounter all sorts of... All sorts of different fucking balls. Just go away. I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight. Oh, shit. I don't wanna fight. 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 Now let's go and fight. Motherfuckers. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, baby. You think you're gonna escape my wrath? Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, deflect, deflector shield. Recharge, thank you. Quick, quickly turn around, where are you? Fucking dirty bastard. You're all gonna suffer. Ow, ow, stop. Stop the pain. Look at this bastard. Oh, you think? You're not gonna escape me, you bastard. There you go, destroyed, bitch. It's very cool that the, the shortcuts are very shortcutty now. It's very easy to do that. Who the hell is he? Get him, get him, get him. Never ends, there's so many of them. And I don't have a fighter, you know? This ship is not a fighter. Imagine if I had a fighter. Holy shit, I would destroy them in, in seconds. Got him. Yeah, baby! What's my reward? What is my reward? Give me my reward. I hope it's gonna be something nice. And spicy. Because we are friends. And friends are supposed to give each other dildos, right? That's what friends do. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have any friends. This commander is my first friend. Can I offer you a reward? New Frighter. Oh. It's a little bit expensive. <laughs> I don't have a million units. Alright, can I take the supplies then? Take supplies, and what, what do I get? What supplies? What, plutonium and something else? What What else did I, did I get my ass? I got my ass, that's what I got. Wasted so much of my life for him. And what do I get? Can't even buy the Frighter, it's too expensive. But I mean, I am friendly with the Gex, so I assume that the Frighter is much cheaper than usual. I assume it usually it would cost a shit ton of money. But now it does not. I really like the torch. <laughs> Check it out. The torch. Typical English wording. Because uh, everywhere else a torch is something different. This is a flashlight. Not a torch. But in England it's called a torch. I don't know, it's... In my mind, it just sounds wrong. Torch. Doesn't sound right. And that would be all. I think we have seen uh, a couple of new things now. A little bit of uh, different flying. The flying has been changed a little bit. We got different uh, ship classes. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool so far. So make sure to let me know what would you like to see... Next, would you like to see more videos on No Man's Sky and what exactly would you like me to do in the game? Should I just explore or do something special? Because uh, I was thinking of maybe like playing a couple of hours and then making a video after each couple of hours and uh, you know explaining what did I do, if I found something interesting and uh, you know, found some nice animals or something. So maybe that would be a good idea. It all depends on the views, you know, if there's views then there will be videos. But that would be all for now, so thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time! I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petard the eternally touch your back.